In this video, we're going to show you how to use the Genesis featured page widget that's included with the Genesis framework. As you can see, I'm already logged into WordPress and I've navigated to Appearance and Widgets. And then, as you can see on the left-hand side, we've got all of the regular widgets plus a few extras, including the Genesis ones. And from here, what I want to do is click and drag on the Genesis featured page and just put that somewhere, uh, anywhere really. I'm going to put mine in the primary sidebar so it's in a really easy place for us to find. So what you then need to do is choose the page that you'd like to actually have this feature. I mean you can choose any that you'd like. You, know, you might want to choose your contact page for instance. Uh, it's a relatively common page that people would want to have there. Uh, you can choose to show a featured image if you'd like but a page with a featured image is very rare indeed so maybe not checking that unless you know that you have a featured image that you would indeed also like to have featured. Uh, on the home page and every other page where this sidebar is present is a good idea. Then you can choose to show the page title and the page content. So depending on how your theme is set up in your contact page or whatever page you're linking to, it can potentially be a bad idea to choose to show the page content, but it's certainly not a bad idea to choose to show the page title. Uh, if you do choose to show the page content though, you can put in a character limit so it will only show a certain amount of characters before it then shows a link to go through and read the rest which you can actually then go and define what you would like to have as the link as you can see here in the more text field. So what we just want to do now is click save and then go back to the website and here you can see it's featured there so it doesn't look very good because we're just doing this to demonstrate the functionality. Uh, but it will take us through to the contact page where unfortunately there is no contact form because the demo content is built and they use a plugin called Gravity Forms to generate the contact form but if you're using this you could very simply use Contact Form 7 which is a free contact form plugin uh, or any other range of plugins inclusive of uh, Jetpack that comes with WordPress uh, which you can install off the plugin repository anyhow but that should be a good idea of how you can use this widget and you know, feature some content on your website or a certain page. That's where we're going to wrap up for now, but if you have any questions, please feel free to ask in the comments below.